staying at home this week, or are you going to be in the fighter hotel and kind of go through the normal fight week routine? Um, a little bit of both. I'll be going a little bit home, just making some stuff um, at home, like all my like certain meals and certain certain drinks and certain stuff to recovery and stuff like that. And then I'm going to go back to the hotel. So I'm going to have kind of luxury of both, which is kind of unusual. It's almost like I don't really feel I'm kind of like a like a in a camp, like pre-fight camp, it's way more relaxing, which is which is really really good for me. I feel like, and um, yeah, I'm just excited to put up a, a really really good fight for uh, for everybody. You know, it's gonna be in my opinion, it's gonna be fight of the night. I, I've seen a bunch of guys here, and I, I'm going for fight of the night. Like I don't care what people say. Like all the real martial arts, they know they know what's coming. You know. So Misha, you're a student of the game. Your opponent Nikita. He's very big, he's dropping down from front heavyweight, he's a little bit taller than you. Have you worked on anything special or any technique that you, you like, this is one you used to beat this guy? Uh, you know, I, I fought already guys that are taller than me, uh, bigger than me. I used to fight guys I used to, used to fight in heavyweights, like, like, look at, like, Alex Nicholson, for example, you know, like, he used to fight, like, uh, against heavyweights and he beat some really, really tough guys, too. He is a really heavy puncher, like, last fight, I mean, he broke his hand. So we didn't see like a full potential of him, but like you know, I, I'm I'm kind of like I know what I'm getting into. I'm uh, I have many different training partners. They're like big, big, big boys, heavyweight guys, lighter guys, smaller guys. I don't make that into consideration really. I just concentrate on like I know Nikita's a very, very tough guy. You know, like I met him in person. He's actually a nice guy too. You know, and uh, I just I don't really think what they're gonna do, how big they are, what they done. I'm just concentrating what I've done. You know, and I'm concentrating on what I'm going to do. So it's like, it's almost like a little bit selfish, but I'm just concentrating on myself right now. What would you say you've improved on the most in the gym since your last fight? Um, a little bit of everything, actually. A little bit of um, pacing myself, um, the way I strike, the way I breathe, the way I think. At least two, three months to re Like Even though I won and I did a good performance and all that, I don't look at that. I, I look at my holes, you know, I look at the thing that I need to work on, like, you know, just because I'm doing good, like some guys, like for example, Ian Kutalaba, you know, he just got signed with UFC, and he's fighting, 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 and honestly, like, he's lost performance, he fought good, but it feels like he was tired, you know, like, they, they push him too much, you know, like, oh, I don't know who the coach is or not, but he's like, yeah, go, 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 and now he starts making some money, and he thinks that you gotta fight, 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 you know, in this game, like, if you have this kind of approach, Thing, you're gonna get burnt out you know and not just burnt out but you coming as the same fighter so all the high level coaches and people that study you they, they kind of know what's coming you know it's really easy to study for that but for example if you know you take some time off and you really pay attention to you try to come back as a different fighter basically and that's you know for example my opponent is getting studying that guy that fought in Ottawa but in my opinion I'm uh, like a step over that already you know so I'm gonna be a little bit different Thoughts on the main event for this card between uh, Pettis and Holloway there? Um, I think uh, Holloway finally got what he deserved. So uh, I'm happy for him. He, he looked like a really nice guy. And uh, I don't know how many wins he, he has right now on the street. Fine. Uh, I don't understand how he didn't like, have a shot at the, the belt before. Your, your, oh, sorry, your fight is on the, the prelims. Um, yeah. did, did you like that? Do you like that? You know that, that no one's really like. You know, there's no pressure going into this fight uh, with the fact that it's kind of buried on the card here. Um, I like it to be on the prelims because all my friends and family don't have to pay the pay per view. So that's pretty much it. <laughs> so I prefer to be on the prelims. And I, uh, unfortunately, I think for this event it will be more view uh, in the prelims than in the pay per view. Is that so pressure? Even, so sorry. Uh, okay. Even if uh, the main fight is a really interesting fight, I think uh, uh, both, are, both of them are uh, going to make a great show. But since uh, DC is not fighting, I think uh, the people are going to get it a little bit. Were you excited for the DC fight? Uh, was I? 
Not pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Not <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. Um, so, but what's the name of his opponent again? Uh, what Anthony is it? Johnson. Anthony Johnson. I really like Anthony Johnson, if you, even if I don't know his name. Um, I really like him uh, when he fights. He has a special stance and a special uh, stand-up skill, so I really like uh, all of his fights. Yeah. So it's kind of funny because Daniel Cormier is a very good grappler like you. Yeah. But you prefer watching the striker? Uh, yes. Who doesn't? <laughs> <laughs> is that something we're going to maybe see uh, from you on Saturday? Uh, I don't know. I don't know about that. <laughs> but um, no, I, I like grappling, but uh, my favorite to watch as a grappler is uh, Agomenov. Mm. Uh, I mean, I studied I think, all his fights, so uh, I'm trying to be him. <laughs> this fight's in Canada. A lot of your fights have, have been, yeah. A lot of your fights have been in Canada. Um, would you like to fight outside uh, Canada at some point? Because um, seems, or do you prefer fighting uh, here in, in Canada? I prefer to fight here in Canada. It's uh, less money for me to pay uh, my. Wait, I'm gonna do it again. Yeah. It's less expensive to bring my corner. It's less expensive to bring uh, everything. Actually, everything is less expensive if I fight near Montreal. Uh, and unfortunately, I'm not doing uh, enough money right now to, to fight outside Canada and bring all my uh, my training uh, coaches. So, yeah, I prefer Canada. Questions in French? 